Welcome back graduates. So today I have another awesome video for you, but today we're going to be shifting from Dawn theme and we're going to be talking about Sense theme. This is Shopify's uh, newest free theme or one of their newest free themes. And I'm sure you all noticed that they're starting to release a lot of awesome free themes, and but they're also missing a lot of core functionality, at least in our opinion, that, that, you know, core functionality that you need to actually run a successful e-commerce store. And, you know, I'm not putting it down, it's just missing a lot of the features. And the reason why is Shopify, they make money off of, you know, your, your monthly subscription and also off of theme sales and app sales, as well as, you know, you selling your products, they get a cut of that. So naturally, they're going to leave a lot of those features off of your store. So that way you can go pay a monthly fee for an app. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it's a good business model, but obviously for people who are starting out, that can get very expensive very fast. You know, so our goal is to help you, you know, minimize your your monthly costs so you can actually reinvest your profits back into your store, back back into your ads, and you know, that way you can be a successful uh, store owner. So anyways, let's get right to it. I'm going to show you, you know, here's Sense theme. It doesn't have a cart. Here's Sense theme on our dev store. It doesn't have a uh, slide out cart, but we're going to teach you how to do that right now. Now we have the instructions right here, but what we're going to do, first things first, as always, we're going to go into our store. So let's go to the, you, you'll start off in your, your home here, click on online store, and let's go right down to sense. So this is on the latest version, 3.1. Now I did te uh, test it out. It does in fact work on uh, the older versions of sense, but in this tutorial, we're using the latest version. And as always, guys, you should always make sure that your theme is updated. Um, I know it's a pain in the butt to have to go and redesign everything, but you know, for you to have the most optimized version and you know have the fast load times, all that, make sure you update to the latest versions because there are improvements in these in these themes. That's why they're updating them. You know, don't you know try to stay on top of that if if you can. I know it's difficult, but you know, it's enough of me you know blabbing around. Let me just get right to it. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna preview our theme here, which I'm already doing right here. And what we're going to do is also edit the code. So you go to actions here, click on edit code and voila, you're there. So the first step is we're going to go and find the sections. We have to go and add the file, e.g. cart drawer, which we have, um, we don't have that here. So let me pull that up. I do have a million things open. Let me try and find where I put it. All right, here we go. So we've got our sections. So here's the, the tutorial. And we're going to go click on sections and we're going to open this up in our text editor. Um, now, if you have like notepad on your on Windows computer, that's fine. You can always just drag this file into there. Or if you have uh, VS code, open that in VS code, notepad plus plus. There's links in the description below where you can get all these tech, these, uh, you know, different various uh, code editors. But firstly, what we're going to do is open this up and I'm going to open it up in VS code. Um, actually, no, I'll open it up in text, text me. That's a uh, free Mac uh, text editor that I, I like. It reminds me of Notepad from Windows. So we've got this file open right here, and we're going to copy that, and we're going to go and create eg hyphen cart hyphen drawer uh, in our text editor. So we're going to go to sections. So close out of templates, go to sections, add new section, type in eg hyphen cart hyphen drawer, paste that bad boy in there, and then hit save. We're going to close out of that. Now the next step is to also add the eg header header cart icon in snippets. So we're going to close out of our out of that and open this up. And now we're going to close out of sections. We're going to go into snippets. And we're going to open this again with our text editor. And I'll, like I said, guys, uh, I'll include links to all these editors that we use. Um, and let's just go back to our theme. Go to snippets. Add new snippet. This is called eg header uh, cart hyphen icon hit enter. I'm going to paste that in and hit save. Close out of that. So now we shouldn't have to edit any more, you know, add any more files. And the next step is we're going to go to layout and theme.liquid. We're going to find the footer and then we're going to replace it with this. That's what we'll do. So what we'll do is actually, we're not, we don't need to copy all of that. We'll just go here. Close out of this, go to our theme.liquid right here because it's under layouts folder. And we're going to do control find or command F or uh, control F or command F to uh, show the search option here. We'll type in footer. So right, so now that we know here's footer and it just will look just like this, right? So now we'll paste this in there. Let's fix that formatting a little bit. Hit save. 
And what's the next step? So now what we need to do is we have to go find our header.liquid and find the following code. It's around line 555. So we'll close out of this. And that is under sections right here. So click on sections and close out of this as well. And we'll find header. Around line 555. 555. Uh, actually, what we can do is find uh, header icon heart cart. So I'm just gonna, so what I like to do is you know, rather you can't really go and find for this whole block of text. You know, there's a command F or control F. So what I try to do is I try to find certain items. So I'll find header icon and make sure that I'm actually you know selecting the right one. And as you can see, there's two header icons. So but we, but in the in the uh, our tutorial here we have route.cart underscore URL. So that's we know for a fact that it's this one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that whole thing with the snippet that we created. So let me go in and lock this off. Now here's a here's a cool trick, guys. If um and this is a little golden nugget for you as you're editing things. If you ever, you know, remove something or you don't necessarily want to remove it fully but you want to just hide it what you can do is you can actually comment this out so there's there's a few ways you can do it you can use liquid or what you can do is you can highlight that block of you know that that you know the hyperlink right there and do control or command forward slash which will comment this whole thing out so if i hit save right now watch um, that icon should technically go missing and of course i'm previewing the wrong one so this icon will technically go missing. So you notice the icon's gone because we just commented out. Now if I do Control Z, whoops, Control Z, and I hit Save, this will update, and there, there you go. You got your icon again. So now let's just let's just hide this. We don't really need to, you know, make this work. Or you can use Liquid to hide it. So we can do this comment, and at the at the end we can do end comment. And comment and hit save and you'll notice that it also goes it, you know disappears so we'll just leave that there but in this case actually no we won't leave it there I'm just gonna remove it but just for you if you ever want to go back and bring you know restore things maybe you don't like how the cart drawer works or whatever you know a lot of you actually love it but and, and no you can always hide it but there's also another option say you mess up royally and you have no idea what you want to do and you want to go all the way back on that file you can go back and view your history there's ways to do that and i'm going to make a video on how to you know resolve certain issues with your theme and you know roll back different settings and, and just restore things um, it's really all you know there will be a video going all of this going over all of this so I'm, for now though i'm just going to replace this excuse me i'm going to do that now we'll see this show up and then what we need to do is uh, close out of this. And now we need to go in, go into our assets and find cart notification.js. Let's do that, shall we? So we save this and I'm going to close out of this. We're going to go find cart, 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 cart. Where are you? Um, cart notification.js. All right, so we found it. Now we gotta find render content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just find this right here in the file. So that rather than you know searching around for everything, and what's cool is our, our little search box is still here and we found it. So voila, right there, awesome, it's there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it with this completely. Boom, save. There we go. So now this should open up as a Slido cart. Did I tell you it was that easy? I'm pretty sure I did. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you love the, love the videos that we're creating, please click the subscribe button as well as the like button because it allows us to keep creating videos like this. It gives us that motivation. We feel the love. And uh, we want to keep adding you know, new features to all these different themes so that way you guys can save money, maximize your profits, and just have a very, very optimized store. Um, you know, we'll be teaching you how to add mega menus to all these various themes, slide out carts like this. And um, also, we want to hear your suggestions. What features would you love to have added to your store? And then let us create these snippets for all of you at a very affordable price. That's what we do. We, we make these little snippets to make them very affordable, to m minimize that monthly cost that you would otherwise be paying each and every month. You know, so that way you can actually run a profitable business. There's a lot of, a lot of people who start off in the e-commerce e world and they end up having like $300, $400 worth uh, per month in fees for apps when you can just go in and add these options to yourself. 
Um, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll be releasing a lot more videos. Stay tuned. And until next time, guys, thank you.